Redesign Group. Um, my name is Leah and I am the owner of Leah Noel Design Co. And I am a brand ambassador here at Redesign. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a tray. So if you guys are here, say hello so I know I'm live and that you can see and hear me. I'm gonna, uh, I have my garage door open today so if the audio is bad, just let me know. Um, I'm trying to find good projects. Um, I'm doing a project today because I, I have to put a transfer on that buffet back there, but it's going to be for the um, the new release that's happening Friday. So we are doing a craft today instead of furniture. So my goal here is to find like things that you could find and do um, because I know it's kind of hard to get product right now. So I've just been picking up these boards. They're like $10, $11 at Walmart. When I go do my grocery shopping, I just pick this up. Um, I should have picked up more. I just got one. My craft section is wiped out. Is anybody else's like craft section at their Walmart just totally wiped out? Like I can't get paint. I can't get anything. But I can get these and they're so cool. Um, I made one already and I'm going to make another one. I'm going to, I'm thinking they'll be, I actually made the other one as a Mother's Day project and I kept it. So I'm making another one. Hi, Roz. So I've been inspired by, um, some of the cool tile I've been seeing, like the blue and white tiles, that's what we're gonna do on here. So I'm actually gonna do a paint wash. I'm gonna show you how to do a paint wash. I'm gonna dry it, we're gonna stencil, and we're gonna add a transfer. And we're gonna do this all on this live here today. So you're gonna have a full start to finish tutorial and you're gonna be able to do this in 30 minutes at your own house. Um, one of the things I have done is I ordered hardware. I should have brought the, the finished, if one of my kids runs out here, I'll have them, um, one of my kids can hear me. I need the tray off the kitchen counter. We'll see if that works. So I'm going to apply these. The windows are open, so I'm sure they can hear me. It just matters if it's, it just depends on if they're willing to help me or not. Hi, Roz. I saw someone else pop in. Say hi as you guys come on. Um, I have the comments loading over here, but these are hardware. Let me give you a tip on hardware. So if you, I have a store called Menards by me. It's like Home Depot, but everything's like $5 cheaper. It's fantastic. Um, but when I go to Menards and I try to buy hardware like this, it's 5 or $6 per piece. Okay. These are three inch, this is three inch hardware. So if you're into crafts or doing furniture, or like you're like, Hey, I want to make a bunch of trays. These are five to $6 per piece. I ordered these on Amazon. Um, if I grab the link, I'll post it in the comments later. Um, if I don't, just someone send me a message and remind me because I get these on Amazon. I got 30 of them and they were like $1.30 each. They were under $2 each. And so Amazon is the way to go for hardware when you can. Sometimes. Sometimes their selection isn't great. But for these, this is perfect. And um, I ordered these for, I'll use these on furniture too. So just so you know, um, price out your hardware correctly because they're five. these are $5 at the hardware store. A dollar thirty on Amazon, and then like I said, that'll just go right here. They'll go right here, and it's gonna be so cute. I'm kind of obsessed with these right now. All right, so when you get your tray from the Walmart, you're gonna to want to sand it. Okay, I sanded this pretty good, but um, you're just gonna to want to sand it like this. Okay, just go ahead and get it sanded really well. Hi, Priscilla. Hi, Joe. So once it's sanded, you're ready for some paint. So I want mine to be bright. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use, um, cotton from Dixie Bell and hang on, bear with me. I forgot this step. I'm going to fill up my cup. I'm going to put what I like to do for a paint wash instead of using any kind of like, I just like to use paint instead of stain. It's just easier. And it's water-based, so it'll dry quicker. I put the transfer on. I don't have to like wait for some oil-based product to cure. So I'm just gonna grab a scoop. My cotton is at the point where it's like, this jar needs to go in the trash, but there's still some good paint in there. So I'm just gonna put a spoonful in and I'm just gonna go over here. I'll even show you guys, look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here to my water spout, which is an old laundry. It's just an old laundry. Um, it's just an old laundry container. So that's how I get my water out here in the shop. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this up and I'm gonna come sit down and I will still be able to see your comments and I'm gonna show you how to do a whitewash. We're gonna dry it, we're gonna add a stencil and then we're gonna do a transfer. So let me just make sure you guys can see. If you can't see, 
let me know. But I have it set up to where I think you should be able to. Okay. Let's see if we can. Hang on. I just want to be able to see your comments. So I'm going to start with my brush. I'm just going to dip my brush in my watered down paint. And I have this board here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and start whitewashing it. Now, as I'm doing this, I can already see I don't have enough paint in my water. So I'm just going to dip my brush in paint. And then dip it back in this watered down paint. muddy. So we're just letting that white wash kind of soak into the board a little bit. I'm really making a mess. I have no internet connection, of course. Come on. Come on, internet. guys I just want to be able to see your questions and your comments here we go perfect okay so I want it to be just a little bit brighter of a white so I'm going to add more paint and less water because this wood is really absorbing. Um, it's absorbing that paint and it's kind of looking a little brown. I want it to be a little bit more bright white. So I'm gonna use less of a wash and I'm gonna do more just painting. But I still want some of that wood to come through because I want it to be kind of rustic. So I'm not gonna use a ton of paint. I am gonna paint my edges. Dip in a little water. I feel like the water just kind of makes it spread easier too. Like that was quicker to paint with water. Roz, I'm gone. Am I back? Can you see me? If you guys can see me, just give me a comment and be like, yeah, I can see you. Okay. So I'm going to even that out. And we're going to dry this really fast before we go ahead and put a, um, we're going to go ahead and dry it. Carrie can see me. Hi, Carrie. How are you? So I'm just going to get this dry. Just dry enough to put a stencil on is really what I'm going for. go ahead and just use a shop towel. I think the last time I did this live, I did the same thing. Um, just to absorb some of the water. 
but I like to show that paint wash just so you really get that start to finish tutorial on here. But it's going to be dry enough. Tracy can see me. Hi, Tracy. Okay, so it's dry enough. I'm going to use this stencil, and I do not know the name of this stencil. Uh, it's my favorite stencil to use. I'm going to use, uh, I've been debating, I'm going to use this transfer called Paradise, Tropical Paradise. And I'm debating whether I want to use In the Navy or Bunker Hill or Yankee Blue. I don't know if I want, I don't want it to be black, so I'm thinking In the Navy's out. I'm almost thinking like a mix of Yankee Blue with Bunker Hill Blue will be like the blue I want. And then we'll put the transfers over it. Or I could even do like, I could do Colonel Must. What do you guys think? Do you guys think we should do, um, we have this whitewashed board. Should we do blue or should we do Colonel Mustard? with the green paradise transfer. I'm almost thinking Colonel Mustard is gonna look really cool with this transfer. What do you guys think? Give me your opinion. Are we thinking, um, I actually were a little delayed, so I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna just go forth and I really kinda wanna do Colonel Mustard. Maybe I'll do both. I don't know. So this is like the Yankee Blue. And then this is Colonel Mustard. And this is what I'm debating whether I'm going to do Colonel Mustard or um, Yankee Blue. Maybe you guys have, let's see. Blue? Everyone's saying blue. Okay. My, my comments are just delayed over here then. All right, we'll do blue. So I'm going to mix. I'm going to mix Yankee Blue with a little bit of Bunker Hill Blue. And I'm going to do that just just cuz I just cuz I'm not crazy about both colors for this look. I kind of want it to be bright, but I want it to be a little bit muted. So, I'm going to use my 2-inch stencil brush. I use this brush a ton. I'm going to just put it in here, blend it. And I'm just going to line my stencil up so it makes sense at least on one edge. And then I'm gonna go for it. I'm just gonna hit it like this. I love these oversized stencils. Um, there's two kinds. There's the ones that are for raised stenciling. And then there's the ones that are for this. They're like more for just like stenciling outright or stenciling your wall. Um, and I like both. I do find it's a little bit hard to use that raised stencil one. Um, the same as this one. This one's a lot easier to place and use. They both have their places. Oop. Come on, Leah. Ugh. pick my plate up before I but I do want it to I do want it to look good I don't want it to look like it's bleeding so I'm not going to use a lot of paint Let's see it's starting to look okay so less paint is going to be better heavy on this side so I'm just gonna make it a little heavier on this side I actually prefer it to look not so heavy but I want it to be consistent
All right, so I have, my paint's a little bit heavy over here, so I'm gonna use more transfers over here. I like the way, do you see? I, I just, my hand was too heavy and I had too much paint on this side. And then my hand got lighter and it looks better on this side. Frankly, I wish the whole tray looked like this, but we're just gonna go with it. But for you, um, a little paint goes a long way. So I'm just gonna dry it again. Hi, Judy. It's all right, it looks very varied, but you could totally see the difference. Do you guys see the difference? So I just wanna get this dry before I put my transfer on. All right, while that's gonna, I'm gonna let this set and I'm gonna show you guys the transfer and I'm gonna start talking a little bit about placement. So when I get a transfer, I usually never use the whole thing. Usually I have lots of scraps. This one specifically is called um, Tropical Paradise and I really like it. It's very on trend. In fact, if you guys can see this buffet behind me, um, I was going to, if you guys see this black, I was going to put this transfer on this black and white buffet with the black and white stripes. And then I offered it as a custom and somebody, um, bought it as a custom. And so the new florals, um, that are coming out are going on it, but it's a really cool transfer if you guys haven't had it yet. And it's a good transfer. If you're like, what would I, like, I don't want to cover something all in leaves. It's one that I use and I, I cut it up a lot, as you can see here. So um, for this tray, there's a couple options. So I have a lot of pieces that are just cut that I can like place on it, such as like this. I could do, you know, I could do like one leaf here, one here, which was my original plan. But now that I have this transfer opened up, plans always change. I'm thinking I could just lay this right over. No, it's not gonna fit. Or I could lay it like this. Nope, I think my original plan's gonna be fine. I usually never use my transfers as they come. I always seem to cut them up, make them different. All right, so I'm thinking we're gonna do a, a leafy leaf right there. I like these when they are like at the bottom like this because they're good for an edge. So maybe this will come like right here. I need tape because it's windy. A little bit of tack. Hi Sally. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. I'm doing another, I'm doing a tray. I'm doing, I find these, Cindy, I'm, um, I'm working on a tray and I found these trays at, these wood trays at Walmart. Um, and I think that they're gonna make really good Mother's Day gifts, if any of my mothers ever get them, because I've been keeping them for myself. Hey, Reagan. Reagan. I thought maybe she'd go grab that tray for me, but probably has her earphones in. All right, so this one is just good. I can kind of just, I can take it off and just place it as I want. Um, just 
kind of like to move things around. If you guys remember, you guys were just on here, we're gonna have our hardware. So we want to imagine that our hardware is gonna be like right here. So, ooh, you know what? It's setting up nice. Give you a complete visual. So I, I feel like this is something we just don't talk about enough is just transfer placement. Where in the world do you put these things? So I just kind of start and I, I start with one where I'm like, okay, I like the way that this is coming down. And then I usually want to go at an angle. So I might do that. And then I need at least a third leaf. So I'm kind of at the point where I'm trying to decide if I want um, the same style leaf or if I want to change it up or if I want to have just all different leaves or if there's something cool that can come through like this. This might be a winner. Sometimes just these little pieces right here are a save are a lifesaver as well. Like just like something small like this coming around the edge. Okay. Can you guys see okay? It is it, it, you know what? It is one of those just it's like a good Mother's Day gift. Like thank you, Carrie. All right, I think I'm liking this, or is this too much? What do you guys think? What's the final verdict? Is this too much? Can you guys see? Is this too much? I'm gonna start narrowing down with the ones that I want to use. These are smaller. I think this might be, I don't know. I want, maybe I'll use this one. Let's cut this one out. Okay. You like it, Susan? I have this and I'm thinking of doing this like this down here. Or do we like this better? I'm thinking I like this better. Okay, I think we're good. Let's start applying them. I'm gonna start with this one. I love the quarter transfer, the lighter colored one. This one, I like this one too. I think I'm gonna start with these two. So if you guys have never applied a transfer before, it co they come with a transfer stick. Like this. It's just a wood transfer stick. And um, here we go. You just take the paper off and you lay it down, and then I'm just going to rub it on. Sometimes I find that if I'm doing this over like heavy wood grain like this is or if I'm doing it over like a piece that has heavy brush strokes or texture it takes a little bit more elbow grease to put it on I just want to apply it like this, use that pressure, really get my edges down. Look at that. 
looks pretty. Let's get this corner one here. Let me pull some of this away so that this is a little less overwhelming on the eyes. All right, so we have that one. I'm gonna do this corner one. The board was in the craft section at Walmart. I don't have a yellow flower. I, I, I don't have a yellow flower that I'm willing to use on this, I should say. I have some, I have the sunflower transfer, um, but I don't want to, I, I'm not ready to cut that one up and pull it apart yet, because I may still use it on a project. You know what I mean? Like, I like to keep my transfers together until, until I use them really on a piece of furniture. And then once I've used them on a piece of furniture, when they've been cut up and I have extra, um, I'll use them on crafts like this. All right, I'm loving that. Just very subtle. This goes right here. I don't even know if we're gonna need this one in the center. But I here's the thing. I have to work in odd numbers. So we have one, two. Then this would be three, four. So I'm almost thinking of just, so we would need a fifth. I think we're gonna go for it. I don't have a scrap yellow flower. I wish I did. I wish I did. I have, um, I have a, a few of the lush floral ones, but they're not the right color. Yellow would be perfect for this. pulling that up way too soon. Okay. There's that. What do you guys think so far? I'm thinking that's going to go through the center. this one being here. I almost feel like I just need a little something right here. So we have some options. There's always options with this transfer. Okay, so I'm thinking instead of doing these bigger leaves here, we'll just do like this one coming down and then this burn right here. What do you guys think? Do we like that better? Or do we just do this fern right here and then like this leaf kind of in the center? I like this right here better. Let's put this one on and then go from there. Get our four corners. I think I actually, I think this is just enough. I know my rule of thumb is always an odd number, but to tell you the truth, I like it just how it is. What do you guys think? Should I add another leaf in here or just leave that blank? Because you'll have things setting on here. All right, 
Do we need something in here? Or I think we're done, you guys. I don't know. Do we need a... Let me see what you guys are saying. You like the center open? Leave it. What Would it look good if you group the fern with the one in the big corner leaf? Ooh, that would have looked really good. It's funny because my comments over here are not the same timing as the ones over here. So, okay. So I think we're done. This is about our placement. It's, it's kind of subtle. So now what I do is I'm going to just go ahead. I like it too. Thank you. I'm excited about it. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of push this down. I'm just really going to um, make sure this is adhered well. So I'm just going to push it down. Okay. I think we might even just seal this right now. So it's all pushed down. Now I'm gonna take a sanding block and I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna kind of go over this just to kind of hit down, just to really you could do this in between your when you like paint the board. Thank you, Lewin. Um, but I'm just gonna take this down a little bit because some of the wood raised when I use the paint. Um, and I like to also do it on the transfer because it almost varnishes the transfer and just kind of makes it look more worn into the paint. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly sand this. That way, the, I, I kind of, let me show you, I already went through a little bit of my transfer, but do you see how those leaves are just bright? But the look of this isn't, it's not a bright, like solid look. It's a worn look. So I'm just gonna lightly rub over them and distress them a bit. Look at that. Do you see the difference? It looks like it's worn into the paint. I'm just gonna go over it a little more. And then um, I'll show you guys this one. This one is a really good example. That just kind of looks out of place. But when we distress it a little bit, we make sure it's adhered well. When we distress it a little bit, it's gonna make it look like it's supposed to be there. Same thing with this one. I just don't want it to be perfect. So this is like a, a used 220 grit sandpaper. So it's been worn down a little bit. All right, I'm gonna, oh, I gotta get over here a little more. And then I need to stop because I will overdo it. Okay, let's go ahead and put a coat of, um, gator hide on this and then we're done. So I'm gonna show you how to clear coat. If you've never clear coat to anything before, um, this is how I do it. So my clear coat of choice is gator hide. And um, since this is just a craft project, I'm gonna use one of my cheapy sponges. And I, I treat my craft projects different than furniture. So I'm just gonna make sure it's just all the dust is off it and then I will probably do like two or three coats of the gator hide now the gator hide is heat and water resistant um so it's going to really protect this and it's going to this is going to absorb really nice because of that wood can you guys see that yeah so I'm just going to go ahead um how oh, if you grab a bowl Usually I don't pour my gator hide if you watch my videos, but I am today for breaking the rules. We are rule breakers today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, just pull it across, and this is gonna be just enough protection um, for whatever. I have this in my kitchen, and it holds, uh, it holds my lemons, it holds my candle, it holds uh, just like a little green, like a little greenery decoration. Get my edges. And this won't be very shiny because, I mean, 
the wood is just absorbing everything. But that's it, you guys. I think I'm actually gonna, I think I'm actually gonna put this one in my kitchen, um, and I'm gonna give the one that's in my kitchen to like my mom for Mother's Day. <laughs> that wasn't the plan, but this matches my house way better than the other one. So I hope, um, I hope you guys learned something today. If you guys are curious what it looks like, if you guys do go to my page, it's Leah Noel Design Co. It's tagged above. I did post um, the other finished one that I did like last week. So if you just go to the photos and you'll scroll, you'll totally see exactly what I, um, what I did. But I just thought this would be a great craft for those of you guys who are like, what do I get my mom for Mother's Day? Let me make her something. Um, so just to recap, I got the wood, this wood plank at Walmart in the craft section. We whitewashed it with cotton, uh, the color cotton, which is like a white paint. We used this stencil, which I'm not gonna hold the stencil up, but if any of you retailers or anybody knows the name of this stencil, um, please comment and tell me because I don't know and I use it all the time. I think it's, I think it's like French lattice or something, but I don't know for sure. And then the transfer we used is this, it comes in three sheets like this. Actually, I think it comes in six sheets like this. And it's Tropical Paradise. Um, and it's such a good, it's such a trendy transfer. I feel like we haven't seen enough of this. This is such a trendy transfer. And then um, the hardware is from Amazon. And I told you guys that I buy these uh, in a pack of 30 on Amazon and they come out to be like $1.30 each. If you get them at the hardware store, they're like $6 dollars five to six dollars so those will go on the edges but all right well i am going to get off here if you guys stay tuned luann is coming um from warren to whimsy she will be on next and i'm sure she has something fun at one o'clock i believe one o'clock cst um so i hope you guys stay tuned for that and thank you guys for joining me and i hope you guys have an awesome tuesday Bye bye